What's up and welcome to another episode of Gizmos Live Tech. Today we're going to do a camera comparison comparing the iPhone XR and the OnePlus 6T. These are arguably the mid-range kings of smartphones right now. We're going to look at photos in a ton of different lighting situations, backlighting, seeing the HDR functionality, the portrait mode. We're going to look at 4K video as well as slow motion modes that these phones offer. Let's kick off this camera comparison by taking a look at the specs of the cameras on these phones. With the iPhone XR, we have the A12 Bionic chip and and with the OnePlus 6T, we have the Snapdragon 845. Now, both of these chips are gonna be fantastic and both offer a lot of very unique and interesting advantages, but most importantly, these chips are both on par and very similar in terms of their capabilities for interpreting and saving images and video. The iPhone XR has a 12 megapixel camera sensor with optical image stabilization as well as electronic image stabilization. Now, the OnePlus 6T has a 16 megapixel optically stabilized, electronically stabilized main camera sensor with a 20 megapixel secondary camera Camera that's primarily used for measuring depth with the portrait mode. Other than that, there is no purpose to this dual camera setup. If you do the two times zoom with the OnePlus 6T, you're just using this main sensor and digitally cropping in. Now, when you look at the sensor pixel size of these two cameras, the iPhone XR sensor size is slightly bigger and since it's less megapixels, the actual pixel size on the sensor is also slightly larger at 1.4 micromillimeters versus 1.22 of the OnePlus 6T. Now, when it comes to aperture, both cameras are very close with f1.8 on the 10R and f1.7 on the OnePlus 6T. Video modes are also nearly identical with 4K 24, 30, and 60 FPS on the 10R, whether you only have 4K 30 and 60 on the OnePlus 6T. And when it comes to slow motion, the OnePlus 6T offers better slow motion options with up to 480 FPS at 720, while the iPhone XR and the OnePlus 6T both have 1080p at 240 FPS. And then you also have the front camera specs. The iPhone XR has a 7 megapixel sensor on the front that's electronically stabilized and has an aperture of f2.2. The OnePlus 6T has a 16 megapixel sensor on the front that's also electronically stabilized. Now we couldn't find the iPhone XR pixel size, so it's hard to compare the actual front camera sensor size. One of the main advantages to the 10R when it comes to video mode is that it has 60 FPS recording while the OnePlus 6T only has 30 FPS recording. Now one important thing to note is that the iPhone 10R is a slightly wider front camera which makes it easier to capture the whole environment especially in selfie photos and videos. The iPhone 10R is a little bit hard to adjust your camera settings. You have to go to the settings app and then go down to the camera section and then adjust everything. You can't do it from within the app and it's very very stupid. The OnePlus 6T is nice because you can just swipe up and then switch your modes and also adjust your settings. It's all within the camera app, as it should be. Apple needs to work on that. So when it comes down to the specs, these cameras are very, very close with the main difference being the OnePlus 6T's 16 megapixel sensor and the iPhone XR slightly lower megapixel sensor, but bigger pixel sensor size, which could give an advantage, especially in low light. Okay, I think we're finally ready. Let's go ahead and take a look at some photos and videos between these two smartphones. Right off the bat, we can see the OnePlus 6T favoring higher contrast, which does make the colors pop quite a bit more. And as a result, the iPhone XR tends to have a little bit of a washed out look. Now, when we do crop in, you can see that the iPhone XR does process the photo quite a bit better when you look at that YouTube play button. You can see the text around the congratulations a lot better, and there's a lot less noise in the image. And I think this is really interesting because this is a 12 megapixel sensor versus a 16 megapixel sensor in a well-lit room, and the iPhone XR still has more detail. Taking a look at this photo of the lantern thing in my backyard that was there when I moved in, once again, we're looking at a different difference in color between these two photos. The iPhone XR is a little bit warmer and the OnePlus 6T obviously is a little bit cooler, has a little bit more blues in the image, but overall I really like both of these photos. Taking a look at the 100% crop of these photos, both of them captured absolutely excellent detail and I would say that the OnePlus 6T might be just a tiny bit better when looking at the fine, fine details and that's probably because of the 16 megapixel sensor. And here's a really good example of a macro photo comparing the iPhone XR and the OnePlus 6T. Both images are pretty good on both sides, though the OnePlus 6T does have some blurring, especially around the top 
portion. Now here's a great close up semi macro shot and you can see some great bokeh in the background. And here again, the iPhone 10R is very, very warm and the colors are a little bit off actually with the 10R. The OnePlus 6T represents the scene much more naturally with a solid white color balance that's a lot more accurate. Now when you crop down to the detail of each image, I would say it's very, very close. Both images are crisp and good detail. It's just that the white balance is off on the iPhone 10R. Now here's a shot looking out over the horizon and this is a particularly hard shot to get right because on the left you have the sun causing very bright highlights and on the right side of objects you have deep shadows shadows. Let's go ahead and see how these cameras hold up when we crop in on the trees here. You can see that the shadows are a lot more harsh on the OnePlus 6T, losing some detail, especially when you look at the blacks. Overall, it's a very good image for both smartphones, but I gotta say the iPhone XR managed to maintain better detail. Now here's an under the deck shot focusing around testing the HDR mode of both smartphones. And I gotta say the OnePlus 6T did take a slightly better photo here. You have a kind of a washed out look on the iPhone XR are when the OnePlus 6T is quite clear. Cropping in, you can see that there is quite a bit better detail, especially around the vines of the OnePlus 6T. And here's a photo of my game room downstairs. You can see that the pool table is quite a bit more colorful on the iPhone XR, while the OnePlus 6T does maintain a more realistic look, which I actually do like. And it also maintains the detail around the pool balls and on the felt, quite a bit better than the iPhone XR. Now here is an ultra low light shot with all the lights off in the room, as well as the blackout blinds drawn completely to block as much light as possible. Overall, both images are good, but I would say the OnePlus 6T does tend to handle the colors better in this scene. Cropping into 100%, we can see that the detail on the pool balls is about the same between both phones. Now it's time to take a look at some portrait mode photos. Both phones handle this scene very, very well, and I do like how both cameras have a wide angle portrait mode compared to something like the Note 9 or the iPhone XS or XS Max, which require you to zoom in to two times zoom when using portrait mode. Taking a look at the 100% crop, you can see that the detail is actually quite a bit better on the iPhone XR. Taking a look at the rear camera portrait into the sun, both cameras actually did pretty good here. This is a very difficult scene to light correctly because the sun really blows out the background, and yet you can still see my face clearly in both shots. That said, when you crop into 100% zoom, you can see that the detail on the iPhone XR is actually quite a bit better. Taking a look at the selfie camera portrait mode, you can see that the OnePlus 6T did struggle maintaining the edge detection around the sunglasses. It's often hard for smartphones to even detect a face when you have sunglasses, let alone edge detect around the sunglasses and your face properly. I gotta say the iPhone XR did do a better job doing the edge detection when sunglasses were on. And now we have the selfie camera mode into the sun let's see how these turned out. You can see the iPhone XR does have quite a bit of rays across the face, but overall the detail is really good and the blur background detection is also really good. Overall, the iPhone XR did a really good job doing the edge detection around the sunglasses, except for the very rightmost portion. You can see a little bit of blurriness on them. Well, the OnePlus 6T did do quite a bit better with edge detection in this photo. Another thing I wanna point out is that the detail on the iPhone XR is still better despite having less than half the number of megapixels. So that's just another indicator that megapixels really don't matter that much when it comes to maintaining detail. Now we have some low light flash photography and this is from about 10 feet away. You can see that the OnePlus 6T's flash is quite a bit stronger, lighting the overall scene and maintaining better overall skin tone. And then we have the close in flash. And I would say the OnePlus 6T does have kind of a yellowish tint, while the iPhone XR has more of a pure white look. And I would say that they both look pretty good, but it depends on how you look. I would say the OnePlus 6T has almost like a vintage look with the flash. Well, the iPhone XR has a very natural look. Okay, now we're on front facing video mode. How is the exposure? How is the detail? Uh, is it staying focused on my face? How's the audio? We're walking up. How about when I'm going this way with the sun on my face? How is the stabilization walking up the stairs? Testing, testing, testing. Da -da -dum. There you go. Okay, now we've got the iPhone XR, 4K, 30 frames per second. We're now walking down the stairs. Okay, now we've got 4K 30 frames per second with the OnePlus 6T. Let's go ahead and see how the stabilization is going down the stairs. Also how the exposure is. 
So you got to take a look at those camera samples. Let's go ahead and go over some pros and cons of the video modes of these two devices. First of all, I would say with the front camera video, it's great on both devices, good stabilization on both, but I would say the iPhone XR stabilization might be just a tiny, tiny bit better. At least that's what I thought. But one thing that is clear is that the OnePlus 6T microphone is quite a bit worse than the iPhone XR, which sounds very, very good, almost as good as an external mic on a DSLR setup. If I was shooting with either of these phones and I was recording my YouTube videos, I would definitely prefer the XR because of the audio quality and because I wouldn't need an external microphone. Taking a look at the rear camera video, it was very, very close. Both of them had great overall detail, great overall stabilization, and nearly identical looking images. They have matching white balance, matching overall exposure, seemingly identical dynamic range. But once again, we have have far worse audio on the OnePlus 6T. And then when you take a look at the slow motion mode of these two devices, I would say the OnePlus 6T slow-mo mode was quite a bit better, at least in this shot. And then when you switched it to 480 frames per second on the OnePlus 6T, the OnePlus 6T just blows the iPhone XR out of the water, both in the frame rate that it shoots at and the detail and crispness of the image that it's being captured. And I believe the slow motion mode on the OnePlus 6T could even be better than the Galaxy Note 9's ultra slow motion burst mode, though that's a camera comparison that I'll have to make in the future. Overall, I really gotta hand it to the OnePlus 6T and their slow motion mode being far clearer and a lot sharper than the iPhone XR's slow motion mode. So when it comes down to it, I would say these cameras are very, very close. There's just a few different strengths and weaknesses between them. Now the OnePlus 6T did have a stronger flash and the OnePlus 6T did maintain better colors, especially in low light. This is something I've noticed with the iPhone XS as well. The colors tend to be either oversaturated or undersaturated. It's just that the iPhone XR tends to struggle to interpret them correctly. Overall, they maintained about the same level of noise and detail when in those low light photos. But overall, I gotta say the OnePlus 6T did actually do low light a little bit better. One thing is clear though, the iPhone XR is a better portrait camera, and at least it will be more reliable. You might have to take two or three photos to get the same high quality portrait mode shot that you'll get with the iPhone XR. Now, when it came to video, I would say the iPhone XR is my pick because the audio quality is dramatically better. And this is something that's very important to someone like me who wants to shoot a YouTube video every now and then or to capture a family moment, and I hope the OnePlus 7 will have a dramatically better microphone. Overall, it's a really tough toss-up between these two because the image quality is just so dang close. For me, I would take the iPhone XR because of the audio quality when recording video, but that's because that's something that I value more. Overall, I'm gonna let you decide which of these two smartphones is better because they're so close that it's hard to call. So there you go. That's my camera comparison between the OnePlus 6T and the iPhone XR. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell. We'll see you guys in the next one. Brandon out.